Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Youth Man. Over the past several months, I've been reviewing the SVS Ultra Towers as well as the SVS Ultra Center Channel. And in this video, I'm going to give you my final thoughts and review of both of those speakers. But before we jump into the video, if you're into home theater audio and video, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell notification so that you'll be notified when the next video drops. So several months ago, I reached out to SVS because I wanted to review their PB16 Ultra Subwoofer. Now this subwoofer has received extremely well reviews and is just known for just being a massive giant in the world of subwoofers. And so I reached out to SVS and I received a reply from Nick and Nick said, Michael, I'd love to send you the PB16 Ultra, but since you're a Klipsch guy, I'd love to see what you think about our Ultra Towers. Now SVS has made a great name for themselves because of their incredible subwoofers, but I wasn't sure that their towers were going to live up to the expectations that I had of the PB16 Ultra. But I figured why not? Let me go ahead and get a pair, listen to them with my own ears in my own home connected to my own gear so that I could review them and share my thoughts and my experience with them with you guys. So as I shared with you in a previous video on the SVS Ultra Towers, I really didn't have too high of expectations for them. So I hooked them up in my living room two channel setup. And to be honest with you, I was very, very surprised. I had them connected to a Harman Kardon 3490, using that as a preamp, going into an Acuras A200, which is a 200 by two channel amp. I assumed that they would sound pretty good, until I started to crank them up pretty loud, like reference level and above. I just assumed that they were going to begin to distort. Maybe the bass was going to get muddy and boy, was I surprised. Now I tested them with a variety of music and cranked them up to some pretty ridiculous levels and they absolutely soared. They sounded amazing. They sounded really, really good. The highs were clean. Mid range was nice and warm and then the bass was solid, especially in my living room because I don't have a subwoofer. They perform very well for two channel. And then I decided to move them into my home theater to see how well they would perform for movies. Now before doing that, I reached out to SVS and asked them, would you be willing to send me your center channel so that I could hear the front sound stage? It would be difficult for me to mount and install some surrounds. I figured I could use my clips RS62 version twos as the surrounds for the demo, but I thought it would be really great to get their matching center channel. Now, once again, in all honesty, I did not have really high expectations for their center channel. Again, because of the same reason. And as I shared with you in the video on the unboxing of the SVS Ultra Center, I really liked the way it looked, it had a nice weight to it. But again, I just did not have super high expectations. Now you would think Youth Man would have picked for the first movie something incredible, something dynamic, lots of explosions, big action, maybe like Thor Ragnarok or the Avengers or something of that nature. But no, the day that I wanted to listen to them for a movie, my wife decided, hey, how about let's watch a movie that I've been wanting to see called The Greatest Showman. Now my son really loved the movie, but I had not seen it. So I figured why not, let's go ahead and watch this movie, get it out of the way, and then I'll watch an action-packed movie on my own. Now, if you haven't seen the movie, the movie revolves around P.T. Barnum, which started Barnum and Bailey Circus, and it follows his journey into building his business and his empire. Now, what I didn't realize was the movie is really a musical, and so there was a lot of singing, a lot of dancing. Guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, that movie sounded fantastic on the SVS Ultra Center channel, as well as the towers. One of the things that stood out to me the most was the center channel. I was blown away at how well you could hear the dialogue, the detail in it. It was absolutely phenomenal. I was not expecting that in a relatively smallish size center channel. This movie really highlighted the fact that the SVS Ultra Towers and the center channel are fantastic for music. This was a very musical movie. Female vocals sounded great. Male vocals sounded great. Dialogue was super clear, very detailed. They sounded incredible. I really like the way they perform for movies. So if you haven't seen that movie, definitely pick it up 
Even if you don't like musicals, it's a well-made movie and has some incredible sound to it. Now about a week later, my son and I decided to watch an action-packed movie and he suggested let's watch Sicario. Now Sicario is a war film and so there's a lot of gunshots, explosions, and a lot of dynamics throughout the movie. So I thought this would be a great movie to test out the SVS Ultra Towers and the Center Channel at reference level with some action. Now at the beginning of the movie there's this major explosion. And holy cow, this room was going nuts. It sounded incredible. You could literally hear the dirt fly over you, especially since I just recently installed four Dolby Atmos in ceiling speakers. Now, not only did I have the SVS Ultra Towers and the center channel, but behind my 150 inch acoustic transparent screen, I had dual SVS PB16 Ultra subwoofers. This room was rocking. What an incredible combination. Of course, all throughout the movie, you hear gunshots, explosions. These SVS Ultra speakers delivered. Now, if you're looking to put together an incredible sounding home theater at a price point that won't completely break the bank, I believe the SVS Ultras, as well as the center, make an incredible package. Pair these with a PB16 Ultra subwoofer, the prime elevation Atmos speakers, as well as some side surrounds or rear surrounds, and you put together a killer system for home theater. Now because the PB16 Ultra is $2,500, that may be a little bit out of your budget. And if it is, you might wanna consider the smaller PB4000 subwoofer. Not only do the SVS Ultras look incredible, but they sound incredible. So Youthman definitely gives the SVS Ultra system a huge thumbs up. It's an incredible system. If you're looking to put together a top-notch reference level system for your home theater or for your living room setup that won't break the bank, I believe that this is a great system to put together for you in your home. Now the SVS Ultra system comes in two different finishes. You can either get them in the piano gloss black like I have here or you can get them in the black oak veneer. Now one thing to keep in mind with the piano black, I love the way they look. They look gorgeous, they look stylish, but the one thing that you're gonna need to do is they do require some maintenance as far as keeping them clean. They collect dust quite a bit, but also anytime somebody touches them, you're gonna see fingerprints. And so as long as you don't mind that, they look incredible. If you want a finish that's a little bit less modern and more traditional looking, you may want to go with the wood grain veneer. Now, if you're interested in purchasing the SVS Ultra System, I'll post links to each one of these speakers in the description below. Now, one thing I would also like to share about SVS is Nick at SVS has been absolutely amazing to work with. He's an incredible communicator, super nice guy, knows his stuff, and he's just been a pleasure to work with. And from what I've seen and heard from a lot of you guys that own SVS products, their customer service is second to none. They do a great job, and I believe it's a great company providing some incredible products for home theater. Well guys, that's gonna wrap up another video. Hope you enjoyed it. Smash that like button, share this video if you like it. And as always, you guys be blessed, and we'll catch you in the next video.